Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can add a blur effect to any of your videos in DaVinci Resolve and how you can bring in that effect into the video in a very smooth manner. So let's get started. Once you have the clip inside your timeline, the first thing that you have to do is go to the effects panel then go to the open effects tab. Here you'll see all kinds of blur effects that are available to you guys. You can use any one of these, doesn't really matter. What I'm going to teach is applicable to all of them. So I'm just going to take the version blur, drop it on the video, then click on the video, go to the inspector panel and then the effects tab. Here you'll see all kinds of customizations that you can do to the blur. Let's understand what these are. Horizontal and vertical strength, if you move it to the right, you can increase the strength, move it to the left, decrease the strength. Next is this checkbox. What it does is it basically keeps both of these linked with each other. If you uncheck this, you can move any of the sliders that you want. But if you check this, both of them get linked to each other. Fine. Next is advanced controls, border type. If you click on black, you'll get a black border, but just keep it on reflect you'll get a basic Gaussian Blur. And finally, Global Blend, basically how much you want the Gaussian Blur to blend with the video, we are going to keep it to full strength. So those were the customizations. Now, like I said, we are going to bring in the Gaussian Blur inside the video in a very smooth manner. So for that, we are going to use a concept called keyframing. Let's understand that. Now, at the start of the video, if we want the Gaussian Blur to come in, at the start of the video, we want no Gaussian Blur. We want the video as it is. And then in the middle of the video, we'll bring in the Gaussian Blur. So in keyframing, what we'll do is at the start of the video, just click on these dots. These are basically used for keyframing. Just click on it and take the strength to zero. So basically at the start of the video, there will be no Gaussian Blur. But take the slider ahead as we move into the video. Take another keyframe and increase the strength of the Gaussian Blur. So what we told is that at zero seconds, we want no Gaussian Blur. Then click on this arrow. But at this point in time, the Gaussian Blur will come in. Now if I play the video, at the start there is no Gaussian Blur. But as we move ahead, it comes in smoothly. So that's how you can add Gaussian Blur and take it inside the video in a very smooth manner. Now where you can use this, I'll show you a little application. Let's see. At this point in time, the Gaussian Blur came in, right? So I'll just take a text here. We'll apply it a fade in. Then we're going to type something. Let's type vintage. Select it. Take a little font. DM Serif. And just adjust the size of the text and we'll fade out the video now if i play the video this is how it will look the gaussian blur comes in the text comes in and then the video goes out and the text is so that was the video guys i hope you find it useful and if you do make sure you like the video it really helps the algorithm suggest this video to the needful people Share this video with your friends and finally consider subscribing to the channel. I post such DaVinci Resolve tutorials, I stream games from time to time and occasionally I put some entertaining yet knowledgeable videos on the channel. So that was it for the video guys. Thank you for watching the video. Bye bye.